Okay, red lights on? Yes. Yes, okay, it's time to go live. Let's go live. Hey, are you ready? Oh, we got Wait, a nice... I want to be... I want to see live. Yep. Oh, there it is. Okay. And... Action. Are we... Are we everybody's, wait, oh, everybody's, wait. Everybody's ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Clacker. Nice and loud. And let's go live. Welcome to Straight Shooting Firearms Talk Show presented by MyGunDiary.com and Drake Fine Sporting Arms of El Paso. With your hosts, Felix Menor and J. Scott Drake. And now, here they are. Just want to say on behalf of the entire crew here at Straight Shooting Firearms Talk Show, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's not technically Thanksgiving, but happy Thanksgiving. Well, this is our Thanksgiving special, and we went out and uh, did a, a special wow. thing for Thanksgiving, which was our Great Turkey Shoot 2017. It was which, a great turkey shoot. We had a good time. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun. And that video is up now. If you, if you want a spoiler, go to straightshootingshow.com and you can see the video, the full length video of our great turkey shoot uh, where we went out to our private reserve mm -hmm. hunting Grand grounds. Game reserve. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it was it was fabulous out there. And uh, who knew that New Mexico, New Mexico had such great turkey hunting? I, yeah, yeah. It, I watched the video. It looks like you guys really um, caught them in their natural habitat. We did. We certainly you guys did, are pretty yeah. lucky. Yeah. Hey, to my right is a master turkey hunter uh -huh. and co-host of the show, Master Gunsmith as well, owner and proprietor of Drake, Drake Fine Sporting Arms, Mr. J. Scott Drake. Hi. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the wrong mouse. This is what you were supposed to get. And to his right is our lovely co-host. And our, our other co-host, spokesmodel, Francesca Ricciuti, who's got some nice things to say about our fantastic sponsor, Saracote Southwest. Yes. Uh, Straight Shooting Show is brought to you by Saracote Southwest, uh, the only certified Holy Saracote. Oh Welcome to Straight Shooting. <laughs> you, know, you know what's weird about that is I didn't touch it that time. That, that one went all by itself. I, I think I, Felix I just doesn't want to hear us talk. Right. He wants to just hear. <laughs> all right. So you want the clacker again so you can do your Saracote thing? Yeah, I know. All right. Boom. Straight shooting shows brought to you by Saracote Southwest. Um, did you guys actually see the digital print that they posted today on social media? I missed it. No, um, I, I was working today at my regular day job. I was oh, watching. Taylor I was Swift on videos. Instagram at my regular day job. Uh, but uh, they posted a really awesome digital print that they did on a rifle, and you can see it online at um, at Saracote Southwest on very Instagram. Very cool. I, I posted one from Saracote Southwest. They did a digital camo pattern. I don't know if it's the same one. I posted it on mm -hmm. one of our Instagram pages, but uh, anyways, yeah, oh, they yeah. they always do fantastic work. Yeah, yeah, they do. They have over 120 colors to choose from. They also do custom laser engraving, um, so check them out at SW.com. Yes, SW.com or on Instagram at Cerakote Southwest. And with that, let me tell you what is on the show tonight. We've got a great show lined up tonight in Guns in the News. I, you know, we got a little political last week. Um, we're not going to get pol as political this week, but we are going to talk about a po politician, in particular, former Vice President Joe Biden was in gun news this week uh, when he was at some town hall meeting and one of the people in the audience asked him a question about gun control. We're going to watch a video uh, with his answer, which was, uh, I don't know, not surprising for crazy Joe Biden, but uh, maybe a little off of what we might think. So we'll watch that uh, video. And then the other one that we were all talking about this week was a guy in California made the news. That guy. <laughs> because he smashed his AR-15, right? He took a sledgehammer to it. He let the, the news cameras come record it. But the re his reason why is what is going to be very shocking to you. Yeah, I think. I mean, not shocking shock, or more like controversial mm -hmm. or shaking my head or face palm, whatever you want to call it. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Or trying to get on the news or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the gunsmithing job of the week. It's not, not deja vu. And this is probably hopefully the last time that it will be the gunsmithing job of the week. I hope I never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking, of course, again about my double barrel coach shotgun, the JW 2000. That's been getting a lot of work. It we should it, uh, we should file that off and just put js drake custom on it yeah we absolutely should no. uh, but we we got it in the shop uh because we saw a crack in the stock but when we took it apart well you'll have to stick around the show and see but it was a big mess in there i mean this was a major we're gonna see pictures and a little video you're not gonna believe how cracked this stock was it was cracked 
Very cracked. And then uh, last but not least, of course, we, we're going to be talking about our great turkey shoot 2017, which was, as you see, it was a lot of fun. And again, that video is also online. If you want a spoiler, go to straightshootingshow.com and you can watch the full length video now or stick around at the end of the show. We're going to show a few minutes of it. Uh, and that's kind of the big, the big thing because it is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, and so no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now we do want to take a moment to say hello to all of our Facebook live viewers. Uh, the Mevo camera is up and running again and yes. seems to be running just fine. And so hello to everybody out there. Hello to our friends overseas, Joshua Morris, especially to our active duty service members overseas mm -hmm. uh, like Joshua, who do not get to be home for Thanksgiving this year. All of us, uh, you two being former active duty and myself currently active duty, we all know what that's like to be away from home. So tune into our show and have a little connection to home and some good laughs and enjoy the show. And we want to say happy Thanksgiving and thank you for your service. And then, of course, uh, our store is now open. And uh, hey, the first week that the store has been open, sales have been through the roof. Yeah, we, we've made a huge profit. Yeah, absolutely. We have sold uh, one item. <laughs> and we sold a coffee mug to Joshua Morris. Nuh -uh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, Josh bought a coffee cup. Nice. Too. Yeah, for a profit of $2. Uh -huh. uh, this, yes. yes, since the store has been open. I am super disappointed that our thong sales are not better. Yeah, I would have thought we would have sold out those thongs right. by now. But uh, yeah, <laughs> just the coffee mugs seem to be going. But I think so they'll catch glad on. my face is not on that. <laughs> I think they'll catch on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I'll just head to uh, straightshootingshow.com, click on the link that says store. You can go to our store. You can check, check out our T-shirts and coffee mugs and thongs and other products. We have mouse pads and all that kind of cool stuff. Please support the show. Buy a T-shirt. There's actually a lot of cool T-shirts. There are styles. a lot of cool there, things there. There are there because they have the zip-up hoodies and right. the over pullover hoodies. Yeah, you know what I was looking cool. at was the uh, the baseball jersey type. Yeah, yeah shirts. I like those. Yeah. yeah, we we need to get some on there with the epaulets though because I. It's hard for me to, to wear things without epaulet holders. Yeah, we'll probably have to get some custom made. We need more pockets and epaulet holders. Yeah, I got a new toy here. Even you, you did. Don't. Felix has a new toy. I got a... Yes. It, this is called the Korg Chaos Later Pro. Uh -huh. It is a... Um, Basically, it's like a loop machine, mm -hmm. drum machine, sound machine, synthesizer, but it's got all kinds of cool sounds. Can I'm it auto-tone our voices? It no. does not. Everybody's yeah. been asking that. <laughs> but it does have lots of cool... We can have laser but we battles. Do, I was just about to say yeah. we get to go to space. Uh -huh. Laser battles all day long. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to implement it into the show. Maybe I'm just, sure you'll find a way. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but <laughs> lots of fun stuff. Hey, remember, you can always check us out on Instagram at our Instagram page, at Straight Shooting Show, and our Facebook group. Be sure to join and join in the conversation. Watch the live shows at facebook.com slash groups slash straight shooting or just go to straight shooting show.com and click on the link for our facebook page yeah. or oh. just go to your friends list on facebook you can add everyone on your friends list to the group and they have no choice right. oh that would be yeah. awesome yeah, you can just add everyone yeah, I taught Scott how to do it. <laughs> yeah. help, help them we <laughs> look we really think I, I was watching some of our old episodes and some of the skits we've done and uh, what we've been doing is really funny. A lot of this, it is. It's legitimately funny, not just because I'm do you watching. you have a horn on there? You can just toot your own. I don't know. Let me do. <laughs> uh, I, I do have a horn somewhere, but it's going to take me a while to find it. I don't know where it is in here. I'll find it sometime. Um, and yeah, please share in your Facebook feeds. Share the show. Share the episode. Share the YouTube uh, uh, videos. Please uh, get us some more viewers because we think we're really on to something. We're having a lot of fun doing it, and we're sure glad you're joining us. We'd like your friends to join us. And with the group, as Francesca mentioned, you can add your friends to our group, and they don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. They have to go and unsubscribe. It's mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. 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 And with that, let's move things <clears throat> along. Let's get right into the news. This week in Firearms News and Current Events. I got to be Johnny on the spot with this live cam uh, production suite mm -hmm. here because, like, uh, when I show videos, I can zoom in, but I got to be, like, right on the spot. But, hey, let's, uh, let's get into the news. Now, as we mentioned at the top of the hour, this first uh, story that we're going to talk about here is Joe Biden, former Vice President Joe Biden, was at a town hall, and a woman stood up and asked him a question about gun control. And let's watch the video. We'll get some comments from our Facebook viewers, and we'll chime in with our comments as well. So Don't forget to zoom in. Oh, let me do that yeah, right now. Do that. Hey, you know, you're going to get an associate want, producer credit. No, you don't credit. want me touching technology, man. It's <laughs> bad. <laughs> no, but no, just for that, you're going to get an associate producer credit. All oh, right. I can do that. Here we go. Yeah, Brianna with a question about gun control. Hello. Hi. Um, so with the tragedy that just happened in Texas, my question is, how do you justify the Democratic view on gun control when the shooter was stopped by a man who was legally licensed to carry a gun? 
Well, first of all, uh, the kind of gun being carried, he shouldn't be carrying. Uh, assault weapons are. Uh, I, I I wrote the first, the last serious gun control law that was written. It was law for ten years, and it outlawed assault weapons and it outlawed weapons with magazines that had a whole lot of bullets, and so you can kill a whole lot of people a lot more quickly. Number one. Number two, it's just rational to say certain people shouldn't have guns. Now the fact that some people with guns are legally able to acquire a gun and they turn out to be crazy after the fact, that's, that's life. There's nothing you can do about that. But we can save a lot of lives and we've stopped tens of thousands of people from getting guns who shouldn't have guns. Hmm. But there's nothing you can do about hmm. that. So there's a really a lot to digest in that yeah, comment. That was a complicated answer, I mean, really, but I, okay, you go, you go and I'll go. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> What bothers me about it is not so much what he said. He's got his opinions. He's entitled to his opinions. But as a former vice president, he's got a lot of influence. But he didn't address the question uh, that the woman asked, which was about, you know, the, in light of the fact that the, the good Samaritan, the neighbor, engaged the bad guy and shot him with an AR-15. How does that, you know, affect his views? He didn't really talk about that. Right. He just went on about how, well, for the, what he did say was that the good guy should not have had an AR-15. And that's not what I heard. Um, I'm going to play okay. devil's advocate okay. here. I, that's not what I heard in the video. So there you that's figure, the you figure it out. That's yeah. the devil's advocate. Song. Is that the devil's just advocate? Just so that song. you guys know. <laughs> so it, what I heard in the video was he shouldn't have had that gun in the first place. And I think what he was talking about was the guy that was actually doing the church shooting stuff. Um, I, I See, I heard what Felix was saying. That's did, did you? Just kind of how I heard because it. Because it was vague. But, but it was. I, I think I don't. I don't think he was talking about the guy, the the good Samaritan guy. I think he was actually talking about the guy in the church itself. But then he goes on to say that people that get guns legally that end up being crazy. There's nothing you can do no, about no, that. Anyway, and that's that's the thing because that guy had bought the gun legally. The guy that you know, it, although he should have been on on a database and it should have come back probably negative on his yeah. his background check. He did get the gun legally. Yeah, well, it just um, seemed it just seemed very contradictory to me and very poorly worded compared it was, to, it was, it was to her question. Yeah. yeah. So, but it seemed very contradictory because he was saying I wrote uh, laws on this and this guy shouldn't well, have done that. that. And those are very like definitive words, and then he went and said, "There's nothing you can do about it." If that's crazy. just political, uh, you know, self tooting horn, yeah, uh, or whatever, you know. But the, yeah. like we were talking about earlier, he was just tooting his own horn. That's what politicians do when they yeah. get a chance to talk about something they did. They talk about well, it. and then but, they definitely turn it to talk about the negative rather than the right. positive. What she brought. But what I took from that video was what he was saying, and I, I don't say this very often about, you know. Um, anybody from that camp but i i like joe joe biden i like him <laughs> he's a he's a kooky weirdo um you know he's funny i gotta say he wrote the first yeah. last law yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you Who know I, I don't say that i don't say with. that very often about uh, about guys from you know that that S side, side of the field yeah. and i'm pretty centric man honestly but uh i i like joe biden i think he's a funny guy and I get where he was going. I think it was, his answer was poorly worded. Well, he, he is a funny guy. I think yeah. he's funny. And so when I watched that yeah, video clip, I, it reminded me that just a couple of years ago, he did another mm -hmm. interview mm -hmm. where he gave a recommendation, I guess you would call it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another question that he took. This was from somebody, I guess, that wrote in or called in or emailed in a question. Let me preempt this video with, this is half good advice half really bad advice so, <laughs> so here, only try half of this at home yeah only try half of this at home <laughs> here is joe biden a few years ago with another tidbit of gun advice yes. kate ernest has the next question she asks do you believe that banning certain weapons and high capacity magazines will mean that law-abiding citizens will then become more of a target to criminals as we will have no way to sufficiently protect ourselves. Uh, is this, is that it, came up is this Parents again. Magazine? It is. I have Parents <laughs> Magazine at home. I've never heard anybody in Parents Magazine ask these kinds of questions, but I'm delighted to answer them. Um, first of all, uh, the idea that... W repeat the last part of the question. <laughs> so she's asking if um, a ban goes into effect on certain kinds of weapons and high-capacity magazines. And what's her name? Um, her, Kate. Kate. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells of 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and somewhat secluded. 
I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the wow. house. I promise you, who's <laughs> coming in is not going to. You don't need an AR 15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Mm, well, buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. He says, Ernest has the next question. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. <laughs> Our viewers are, they knew what the video was, right? When you put yeah, it up. Yeah, I mean, this it's he a, likes shotguns. It's an infamous video. Uh, and again, there's a lot to digest there and a lot to debate what he said. What, what I agree with what he said was buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Yeah, come, yeah, into Drake's, come into Drake's Fine Sporting Arms at 4000 North Mesa Street, El Paso, Texas, and buy a shotgun. Buy two shotguns while you're at it. <laughs> That thing's going to get out of hand. It's totally going to get out. You know, the funniest thing about it is I have no idea what sounds are on it yet. I just got this. This is just totally (laughs) random. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a a shotgun is good for self defense. He said get a double barrel, but his advice to his own spouse was just go out and shoot it. Point it aimlessly. Aimlessly shoot it in the air, which, first of all. You know what? I mean,. Isn't that a crime in some places? Yeah, right? just... yeah, that's not a good idea. Um, there are, you know, you never know when you're actually like, going to take out the Seventh Day Adventist. It's just coming by to, <laughs> to, to, to tell you about, you know, Jesus or whatever. And uh, <laughs> yeah. so, don't do that. Yeah. Don't step outside and randomly shoot off into the woods, please. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, the double barrel shotgun, excellent idea. Yeah. Uh, Shooting randomly into the woods, not a great idea. Now, the other point to debate, which uh, we, I, I thought we saw eye to eye, and I think A.K. Steve, we all see eye to eye, that the AR-15, he said, was not easy to aim and not easy to shoot. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. I happen to think it's one of the easiest rifles to shoot. My sister, uh, when she was here, she, and several times, I've taken her out to shoot an AR-15, and she thought it was quite easy to shoot. Very low recoil, lightweight, easy to shoulder. Easy, it's easy yeah. to teach someone. And, that, and that's what I was thinking when he was talking about that. Just because shotguns are heavy and like, because he's talking to his wife too. I mean, it, she's yeah. probably smaller frame, yeah. and you know, I just not, not everybody can not be. everybody can handle a, a double a double barrel shotgun. Right, and there's quite a bit of kick. Yeah, yeah but man. there are better choices, man. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again till the end of time. The AR-15 is an awful home defense yeah, weapon. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Not, not, terrible. Not your first, shouldn't be your first choice yeah. for home defense, no. for sure. Yeah, It'll penetrate through walls. It'll go through right. your wall, through your neighbor's wall. Yeah, and, I, and I get where he was going because I, I recommend this stuff all the time, man. I get you know women who live by themselves, not, not specifically women, but a lot of women who live by themselves. They don't know a whole lot about guns. They come in and they go, I want a pistol for my house uh, because I live alone. I'm scared, you know, or whatever. And I go, do you know, I mean, are you an experienced shooter? Do you shoot a lot? No, not really. Okay, well, check it out. You know, pistols can actually be more dangerous to you uh, if you're not super familiar and you don't practice a lot. Uh, let's check out because it's it, you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there's a noise. You're scared. You're already sleepy. Adrenaline's pumping now. It's not super hard to shoot right. yourself in the foot with a pistol. Yeah, but and, and- it is a lot harder to hurt yourself with a shotgun and i'll agree you know don't go out and buy a pistol unless you have practiced with it in you know a a pistol does take some you know uh, for lack of a better term expertise Mm -hmm. you know you just uh, uh, i think a shotgun is a better home defense for somebody Mm who doesn't have as much experience see and you're i think a lot of people when they watch that video they're thinking of it from their point of view as oh well i'm you know a young experienced probably maybe military guy whatever yeah, it's easy for us. Right. You know, we've, we're familiar with these things, whatever. Not everybody has that experience. Not everybody has the, go ahead, do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, could you imagine my mom trying to wield around a freaking AR-15 in the middle of the night while she's scared? <laughs> I don't know. Beverly, Be- Beverly, <laughs> Beverly is watching like she is always watching right. every Monday. And but- a, you know, but a shotgun, it's easy, man. It's a point-and-click interface. It's got very little control, yeah. you know, to, to have to deal with. Um, just a better choice for the average person with that let's move on to this next story which i think is really gonna is the the one of the week that we were all talking about and this is uh from a guy speaking of ar-15s yep so the the first uh 20 seconds or 30 seconds of this video doesn't have any sound so we're going to give our little play-by-play but what it is is guy in california he was a very much you want a voiceover for what the guy's saying yes it was yes okay Okay. (laughs) he was very much affected by the the mass shootings recently of Las Vegas and the one in Texas. And he decided to smash 
his AR-15 as his way of changing the world, I guess, you know? But his, his comments are what are, are going to grab your attention out there. I can't have something in my house that so easily could become a part of another situation like that, and I'm not going to get desensitized to it. I refuse to. When I read the thing about the school in Northern California, I cried, and I haven't felt good since. And although I'm still sad for all those victims and all the people affected, I feel like I've done the only thing I could do in this equation, even if it's just a small thing. I did my part to make things better. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> now, his intentions... Mom's my mom's offended? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. His intentions are, are noble. <laughs> his, in his intentions are noble. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me by the time this is all done. <laughs> Take that thing away from him. Um, right, his intentions are noble. We were all affected any time there's a, a shooting like that. Any time yeah. anybody get, gets not just shot, but, a, you know, in a, right. a, a violent situation. Um, but his... His you logic know, is flawed. His logic is flawed. That and my, despite my, my previous, you know, statements about AR-15s, do I think you should <laughs> smash yours in your driveway? No. Come on, man. Have some common sense. Yeah. I mean, just what are you contributing? Right. You're not contributing. And I said it How earlier. How is this constructed? When we were going over these videos, I said, this is like taking all the food out of your house <laughs> because you feel bad because people are starving and smashing your food in the driveway. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Or, or taking the food out of your house and smashing it because that's your way to combat obesity. Right. You know, because all the obese yeah. people are coming to your house to eat yeah. all your food. Well, yeah. That's, a, that's not logical. It's not logical. It, it, it's a, the logic in what he did is saying that he believes his AR-15, mm -hmm. his specific yeah. AR-15, right. is going to go out and commit a mass murder. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so by smashing it, he's preventing and, it. And that is really that is really supporting the, you know, when people say guns kill people, right. no, people kill people. Yeah. Are, are you? Just don't let your gun run away right. and have a mind. And are you, you know, saying go off that you don't own. you don't trust yourself enough with your gun? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And he had a safe. He had a gun yeah. safe. They showed it in the video. He put his shotgun. I he mean, and just did you notice that he kept yeah. his shotgun? Yeah. Exactly. He only only the Joe, AR Joe has Biden. the capability. Joe to Biden would people. be proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so I I think if you want to go out and. As far as my opinion goes, if you want to go out and do something to affect mm -hmm. the world in a positive way and prevent more of these mass how shootings. About this? Don't shoot people with your gun. Don't shoot people with your gun. Volu how about one. volunteer at an after school program? Yeah. Like an after school program where kids, where the parents are still working until six o'clock, yeah. but the kids get out of school at three. Educate on gun safety. Educate on school safety. Yeah, any Contribute anything to society. Anything. Because I I was, literally all you've done is waste his money. I was very proud to be, this is non-gun related, but I was very proud to be of a program, part of a program in San Diego called Youth Tennis San Diego, which was a privately funded after school program for kids. They warned them about the dangers of tennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but it was a place they could go where they could do their homework, play tennis. It was all free. It was all privately funded. They had like, you know, classrooms and computers, you know, just kind of cool stuff like that. But that's more of what we need, I think. Yeah. That's the answer, as far as I'm concerned, in the long term for these uh, mass shootings is, you know, give people some love, some education, some things to do. Give some people some hugs. Big hugs for everybody. That's not a good that's hug. A that, was that, was a <laughs> that was a sad hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep things moving in our show tonight. Uh, we've got our gunsmithing job of the week. It's time for the gunsmithing job of the week things back oh yeah one more time let's do it one more time i i should probably uh save that that well anyways um okay yes your eyes do not deceive you you are once again looking at the double barrel shotgun that has come to be known as the transformer i wanted to name it the predator but uh, one of our viewers one of our facebook or i'm sorry youtube commenters said it's been through so many changes, which it has. Uh -huh. um, that yeah, this is the Caitlyn Jenner of shotguns. <laughs> 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 That's going to get a ba -dump bump and a laugh in the... In the you should YouTube probably video. actually edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so let me, let me pull up the video here of the, uh, the, the double barrel, and I'm going to play. I'm, I'm going to turn off the sound on it because it's just me jibber-jabbering. Um, but in this video, you're going to see what, what I want people to see is the slideshow of the work that was done in the shop. There you can see it there, let me mm. zoom in. And we took this thing apart, or you took it apart, and Steve t helped take it apart. And when I'm gonna stop on the video here when you get a good look at the cracks in this thing, inside the trigger mechanism there. I really like those photos. Yeah. 
Well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, so you get you get a pretty good look there. That is a massive oh, crack. So this thing had all the way from the top. To, oh. Yeah. Uh, see, I just left that alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, there was a there was a big crack running all the way. Uh, I guess on the what would that be the uh, x axis okay. and then also across the y axis uh, which you can't see in this picture but there's a big crack so it was basically split both directions right there's another picture you might see it but also in this photo you might notice there is a com- a piece of wood completely missing yeah, yeah the, something it, looks different from that side to the other one yeah, of these it, things is not like the that other that wasn't that big a deal you know i didn't really need to be there <laughs> uh, and so as i as i go through i'm going to play the video and we're going to go through to some more photos here and so, yeah, so what you did, now you've got a proprietary <laughs> uh-huh. epoxy. Yeah, proprietary. Yeah, I make it, I totally I make it in-house, and then again. I put it in these little dispensers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, although the, the dispenser says uh, epoxy, what does it say? It, super glue. It, super glue. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah it, that, that's, that's just the, uh, you know, the generic packaging that you buy. Right, that, that I buy, yeah. and I, I package it myself. Yeah. To yeah. conceal it so nobody else will right. steal your idea. Yeah. 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 Now, so... What you do for this type of repair is you fill in the cracks with this yeah. proprietary epoxy blend, resin, whatever uh-huh. you want to call it. We'll call it Soup R Glue. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to patent that, actually. But you say that it m- ends up making the wood even stronger than it was before. Yeah, believe it or not, Super Glue or even a two-part epoxy is, is uh, really, really strong, man, especially when your gun's made out of balsa wood. Uh, like this. Right. So let's clarify that this uh, this shotgun is made in China. It's mm-hmm. imported. Yeah. Um, it's it's inexpensive compared to other shotguns of the type. It's uh, not a it's not a terrible shotgun. It's it's a fine shotgun. I've had yeah. it for almost ten years. It's, right. It served me well. But it's it the it is sub. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Sub, the, the, the quality of the wood is not as good as if you bought a seven or eight hundred dollar shotgun. But I'm that's, that's willing to, to be, bet it, it's particle. Uh, you know. What's that crap that pandas eat? Partic- uh, particle board? MBA. Bamboo? Yeah, bamboo. It's Bamboo's like particle particle bamboo, bamboo par- like uh, smashed together and like epoxied together or no. something. I don't know. The good news... Probably paper mache. That, that, yeah. <laughs> the, good, the good news is that uh, you were able to clamp it together. Uh, the glue held. Here are all the parts. We, you put it back together. Yeah, and realistically, this the wood is probably stronger now than it was originally just because of the glue and right. all the stuff in there. Now the proof is in the pudding and here's where I'm going to turn up the volume and we'll let the video play here. First up, just some light target load. Two rounds. No problems there. Everything held together looks good. Jump ahead here. How many rounds was this? Still looking good. So I put um, this uh, crack behind the tang here by the safety. Uh, He also epoxied that as well. It's quite a long crack, but he glued it back together and it's it's holding together just fine. I put two more rounds of the uh, Hornady double op button. I'm interrupting myself. (laughs) I put 15 wow. or 16. That load's got quite a kick. What a great home defense round. <laughs> okay, I put, last but not least, I've got six rounds of rifled slugs. I put 15 or 16 like heavy load rounds, the okay. double op buck and home defense and slugs. Okay. Also a very heavy load. Yeah. Quite a bit of kick. All right, so that's a good place to stop it there. Um, so, yeah, the bottom line is what I wanted originally from the shotgun was to be able to shoot home defense rounds through it. Mm-hmm. Slugs, double op buck, and combination of slug and buckshot, which they do PDX, Winchester PDX Defender, that's what it is. And I'm happy to say, and when you see the video, I give you big props, Scott, that thanks to Scott, let's give him a big round of applause. This shotgun is now fully mission capable and is ready to defend my home. The, the cracks have, have, are welded together for all intents and purposes. <laughs> uh, this shotgun is awesome. It looks awesome. It's, it's ported. It's now 18 and a half inches instead of 20. This thing is a bad mother effer. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a happy camper. Although I think next year I am going to save up and buy myself a nice easy anyways. Yeah, well, yeah. Let me know. We'll order you one. Yeah. 
So let, we can put that away. Actually, if you guys want to pass around, this would be a good studio audience. Pass around. Yep. And for those of you watching uh, the show, if you want to check out that shotgun, just go to straightshootingshow.com. And you'll see a bunch of videos about it. And uh, with that, let's uh, move right along. And we're going to talk now about our great turkey shoot, although I don't have a fancy intro for it. We, well, oh. I mean, it would have been. There we go. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's a good. That's a good turkey intro. Yeah, it's it's time for the Great Turkey Shoot 2017. 2017. Do you have Scott's turkey gobble on there? I don't. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. That would be a good it's, one. It's going to be. It's going to be on the video. <laughs> okay. So uh, for the, the Great Turkey Shoot, let's set up. Let's set up the uh, the scenario here. Uh, we what we wanted to do is get some live turkeys. And take them out to our private reserve that mm -hmm. the uh, straight shooting show has acquired. We acquired a nice piece of land. It's got beautiful uh, streams running through it. It's forest land. It's mm -hmm. great for hunting. We got deer. We got elk. We and we didn't have turkey, so we wanted. We went out and bought some. Yeah, we sent Chantel out to buy us twenty live turkeys, mm -hmm. which we couldn't afford, so we got nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we took them out to our private reserve, mm -hmm. and we're gonna play the video here. And take it from here. And Scott, I, I was not aware, Scott, that you are a, a bit of a like a master turkey hunter. I, is there a term for that? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's called a super gobbler or something. I don't know. <laughs> we, so out. turkey calls, um, you don't have to spend money on those fancy store-bought turkey calls. Uh, just with a little bit of practice, you can come up with your own turkey call. I'm going to see if I can call one in. We are downwind from where I think the turkeys are. Uh, so just patience, uh, quiet, try to think like a turkey. Oh, there goes one. Oh, I got him. What we're going to do now is it's a little atypical for a turkey hunt, but what we're going to do is kind of go on a walking hunt. Uh, this is not typically what you would do, uh, but I think we're going to have good luck in this area. And, uh, we'll be able to spot them out. Now, turkeys are tough to spot in the wild because they do blend into the woods so well. <laughs> yeah, they got great they do, camouflage. They have great camouflage. Um, you know, I don't know where they buy their camouflage, but it's excellent. Uh, maybe it's mossy oak. I have no idea. Okay. So, I think I'm, we've got one here to the right. It blends in really well. If you oh, you zoom, see it? You see it? You want to zoom in there? Shh. Steve? Got it. Shh. Okay. So... We're gonna see if we can't get a shot off on him, man. That's kind of a long way, but. Okay, okay, we got him. Right behind where he was, right behind where he was. There's another one. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, okay. good, good, we got him. Okay, good. Good shot, yeah, Scott. Good okay, so almost immediately, uh, I've spotted another turkey off over here. Now, it looks like these things are really close, but it's super deceptive because uh, these turkeys are so big. They are. Yeah, they're huge. How, how big they're can huge. turkeys get? Uh, you know, at least four or 500 pounds sometimes. And I've got him, and there he is. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was... That was an impressive turkey right there. <laughs> Holy moly, are they supposed to do that? Uh, you know, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Uh, it, it just happens that way. It depends on what they've been feeding on. You know, sometimes they, they come across a, a crop of, of uh, you know, something that's explosive and they will eat that. Mexican so food. You do, yes, yeah. He might have had enchiladas for dinner. You never know. Okay, all right, so it's Steven's up this time. All right, so what you want to do is, uh, Think turkey tactical, okay? <laughs> Turkically, as you want. Oh, oh, there's one. Okay. Oh man, you got him. Good job. Okay. Uh, when they see that. <laughs> That's a good call. That's a good call. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's move down the road. <laughs> okay, I've got two roosting in the tree because it's getting. There's one in the tree. Uh, he's roosting above his friends right there. Okay. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Right there. All right. Get, get him. Get him. Oh, that got him. Okay, good. That one did have Mexican for dinner last night. That's okay. why I backed up. That's right. Like dangerous. You never know. I told you. I told you. All right. Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Got him. Okay, good, good shooting, Felix. Yes. Yes. All right. 
That's that's a good hunt right there, man. That okay, so right, try your try. call again. That was a, a different call for when they're to get them to fly. All right, you know you can generally go with the same call, so I would try that again. Um, that sounds great. That sounds great. There's one. Hey, you got him in flight. Good job. Good job. That's really hard to do on. on. I'm a natural. Yeah, you are. I'm a natural at it. Oh, there's one on the ground. He's running. Got him. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you bagged that one. Okay, good job. Right on. Yeah. Wild turkey, everybody, uh -huh. for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Well. Everybody watching on Facebook, this is a valuable lesson. This is how you call turkeys. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, if you, you guys, guys are getting free training on how to call a turkey. So I don't know if we addressed it in the video, but it's very important that you're, you, you have to think like a turkey. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you got one. Stand outside, stare straight up in the rain. Yeah, straight up drown in the rain. Yourself. Try to drown yourself in the rain. Yeah. yeah. Um, I call it, uh, and I coined that in the video, but I call it thinking turkically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you have to think turkically in a, in a turkical situation. Yeah. Um, hey, that, you, that has to be a legit term. I mean, only a super turkey. What is it? I, I, I'm going to go with super su gobbler. A super yeah. gobbler would know that term. Yeah, you, you have to go. You owe it to yourself to go to straightshootingshow.com, to our YouTube, and watch the full video. Uh, it's absolutely, well, I think it's educational, first of all. Right. You, and yeah, because there so there's much. one more turkey calling um, lesson for the viewers. There's one more. Chantel called, did her call as Ch well. Ch Ch we, all, we all did our best. I think too. Steven did one, too. I can't remember, but did you, did you call? No, so there. So you can learn three different methods of calling a turkey if you go to the straightshootingshow.com and watch video. Yes, yeah. Uh, so we highly recommend probably one of the, the best hunting videos out there today. <laughs> and I, I think people uh, all over the world are going to be searching when they, when they search for turkey hunting tips. They should, and I'm not doing it. I don't do it for the fame. Uh, I just, you know, want to teach people, you know? Well, so to teach more people, that actually um, there's a suggestion from the viewers uh -huh. that when customers walk in, you should just do the turkey call. Just to, to put it right out there. Yeah, okay. so that you can let people know that you are a super gobbler from and now that on. you could train them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Space gobbler. Space gobbler. <laughs> but, um, so that'll be my standard greeting. Anytime somebody new comes in that I don't know, I'll just give them the gobble right off yeah. the bat. Yeah. 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 And it probably makes them feel more comfortable yeah. too sure. when they walk in the yeah. door. And, and if, as you saw in the video, uh, we, we had snow out there as well it was amazing it was, it was amazing. an amazing day we went through many climate changes yeah. the yeah, foliage was beautiful yeah Ex um, exploding turkeys exploding turkeys <laughs> that dash gosh gosh darn yeah. mexican food man it gets them every time <laughs> hey uh with that we want to thank everybody uh, for joining us once again for another great episode of straight shooting firearms talk show this was now uh, episode 17 in the books has it been that long holy moly i can't believe mm -hmm. it it feels like like episode 250 or something I don't know. it's it's uh we got a lot of them under our belt and, and we're going to keep going so we we want to thank our facebook live viewers uh, you guys are always fabulous thank you for leaving your comments uh, those of you watching on youtube be sure to like this video subscribe to our channel also leave a comment on youtube and uh check out our instagram we're starting to get a lot more uh, followers on instagram that's at straight shooting show and we also want to thank our sponsor as always Cerakote southwest you can find them at Cerakote sw.com and you guys want to give everybody a, a nice, uh, happy Thanksgiving? Yeah. Happy early Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Early Thanksgiving. Oh, early no, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, this is not going to be on YouTube until tomorrow, and then Thanksgiving is Thursday. I mean, by the time people watch it, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, fine. It's Thanksgiving. In space. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>